I don't think I've ever seen any superstar as unself-aware as the Hunky Tonk Man. Just look at that smile on his face. Does he not realize these people can't stand him? Yeah, it's sickening, Cole. And you can bet he'll thank them all for being a beautiful audience. Thank you very much. What a vicious chop! Ow! Oof! Man! Oh, did you see the force behind that? Would you believe that when the Honky Tonk Man first arrived in WWE back in 1986, he actually received Hulk Hogan's support? Luckily, it didn't take long for the Hulkster and the rest of the WWE to figure out how self-centered and annoying Honky Tonk Man really is. One word describes this assault, punishment. He's absolutely punishing his opponent here. He's got him. Oh, and he knocks him down with a tackle. Andre the Giant is taking full throttle control currently. Look out! Headbutt! And a jaw-jacking punch. Self-centered or not, he really is family king. Hoggy Talk Man went on to have an amazing WWE career, highlighted, of course, by his epic 454-day reign as Intercontinental Champion. Yeah, and it's because of that incredible 454 days that Honky Talk Man calls himself the greatest Intercontinental Champion of all time. But if you look at the way in which he retained the title over the course of his reign, his claim of being the greatest is certainly debatable. I mean, there was a lot of disqualifications and intentional countouts along the way. was a hard, hard shot. Andre the Giant is in position. Perhaps Andre the Giant has this match won now, people. Reversal. Honky Tonk Man showing his prowess. It's no secret that I'm not the world's biggest Honky Tonk Man really? fan. Yeah, I think that I'm... That's it. He's done. His shoulders are down. See it one more time. Three. Andre the Giant did it. 